Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez again filming another quick and easy video and I am again featuring the sweet um, quilted Christmas. Um, I think this is my fourth video making this and I'm just in love with this sweet as you can tell. Um, again, this one is, um, is the one that has this stamp set and I'm calling it this like a star but anyway it has this one and it's just perfect for all your quilting friends. And it also has a coordinator frameless dies. I don't know if you can tell it here and again when you purchase those two together you save 10 percent and then of course I'm just going crazy with the design series paper I feel like this one is just great and it will be perfect for a lot of other occasions not just Christmas but um, it does have the traditional uh, Christmas look with the red and the green uh, mainly um, and now if you're wondering where I'm getting the inspiration for this particular card, it is this one. And I did change a little bit of the colors, I mean, to change a little bit of the direction, but this is the one that got me all excited about this, um, <clears throat> this weight. So, the card base is garden green and this one is five and a half by eight and a half. I have a piece of the design series paper. And again, love, love, love this design series paper. I feel like it has lots of um, cool designs. This one is three and a half by five and, um, and, um, and a half. I already cut one of those stars using the framelits. And again, I love the design series paper. I love this one a lot. And, um, and then I have a scrap of Whisper White, and this one is one and one, and one quarter. And the length doesn't matter because I'm going to be making a flag, so it's just, it's just the important thing is that it's one, one and one quarter. And then this one is a half of an inch scrap as well. It's going to be one of my borders, so it has to be as long as this section, which is five and a half. Um, the next thing is I have a scrap of um, Whisper White, and this one is three and a half, which is where I'm going to be stamping. Um, okay, so... I'm going to be putting the, um, let me just put it here, my foam mat, if you see this, and then a scrap paper, and using the star, and by the way, the colors that I'm going to be using is Basic Black, Lemon Lime Twist, and Pool Party, and I might be using this one for the saying, I'm not quite sure just yet. I'm not quite sure just yet, so we'll see. If not, then I'm just going to keep it with the basic black. So let's see how, how this turns out. As usual, I've not really done this far. Um, it's just an idea that I have in my head based on that design on the catalog. So um, anyhow, so the first thing is stamping that is star, and I'm using the basic black archival. And again, I love that archival basic black because it gives a true black so anyway I'm just making sure I have enough ink all right and I'm gonna be uh, stamping and again you just have to press firmly not too hard but just firmly and do not rock it and let's just see one two three okay all right hmm I don't like this one so much, so I'll take... Yeah, I don't know what happened on this one. It's like I have little hair. So let's just get another piece of paper here. Just hold them for a second while I cut more. Um, Alright. So, since I didn't like it, I feel like I pressed too hard, I guess. I don't know. So... The same thing, I'm just all right. Let's see if this time I get a better one, two, and three. Here, I'm not too concerned. I don't know why I'm getting this one, but I'm not too concerned since I'm gonna die cut it, so I'm okay with this. So, um, the next thing it's it's gonna be using. Uh, the full party and for these I feel like it seems like it is the softer image that you know what I like this one a lot so I'm just gonna use this crap paper that is already all stained I don't know what it is uh, if I have 
a clean one I, I like it to be lasting but I'm just going to stamp off and then line it up and you do not have to be a little perfect all right you're going to take off I am going to stamp off again and then go back and again, this will give me a lighter shade of the pool party. One, two, three. And here we go. And the same, we're going to be doing the same for the lime lemon twist, but with a different design. This one has the stripes, and this other one has um, polka dots. So, you know what? Hold on for a sec. I feel like... Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna do it that way and I'm trying to line it up with the phone or the camera I should say in the way it's just a little bit harder but anyway <clears throat> do not get too concerned if you're not perfectly um oh this one looks really nice but do not get concerned because really it wouldn't matter once you put it on your cart you'll see it it wouldn't really matter um I think on my previous video um where I show the one for the birthday I wasn't as line up and I don't think no one can really tell about it once you put it with all the elements in it. So anyhow, we're going to be cutting this one and um, for this, this time, so here's the big shit, I don't know that you can really tell here, but I'm going to be putting the coordinating die. And I don't know that you can really, let me just put it this way, that way you can see what I am doing. So I have the magnetic platform, I have one of the acrylics, then I'm going to put the, the die, and then the next acrylic. And see, so it's kind of moving a little bit, so I'm just going to use a little bit of the sticky note. Just to ensure that it doesn't move. And I'm going to run it through. Alright. And so this time I didn't want to put the, the stitching. But you could also use the stitchings um, for your card. So here it is. Let me just put this one aside. Oh, sorry for that. So now it's just a matter of assembling. Oh, you know what? Let's just put the... Oh, I keep moving the camera. Sorry about that. Let's just stamp this in the real red and see how it looks. And if we don't like it, then let's just change it to the black. So let's see, I have this one. And let's just put it somewhere here. Okay. And again, I love this font, uh, the cursive font. It's one of my favorites. Uh, it just looks so elegant every single time. I see something like that in a cursive. So, anyway, so here it is. And now let's go ahead and assemble. You know what? I'm just going to put it here so you don't have the light in your in video. But anyway, so let's just see. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to be folding my base in half. First of all, so that I can start putting all the elements and see what I like. Alright. Then I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive 
um, on this area so that I can put it here Let me just line it up here, this section. And this one is just to add a little tiny border, as you see. So now it's just a matter of cutting this. You know what I think, like it needs a little bit of steel here. Okay. And here is where the front begins. So I'm going to put it here. Yeah, I feel like it looks nice that way. And so I might, I will put it here. So let's just see, do I want it that way or do I want it here? Hmm. No, I do feel like it's that way it looks better. Okay, so let's just do that. So now I'm going to be gluing this section to more cart base and let's just line up this okay um so I have these two and as you have seen me in my last video you just need to turn it like so and then you'll get this little border around it okay so um, I'm gonna put adhesive here and so we're gonna be doing that on this so let me just put it that way so I can see all right so that's how it will be and I'll start coming up together and then if you haven't seen this one these are the um, stitch felt embellishments that coordinates also with this suite and oh my goodness this is just gorgeous it has a little pre it has a star that will coordinate really nice with this paper but I feel like it needs something else and again I'm following what the sample had and so I really like this this holy leaf or jolly leaf, holy leaf, I think it is. So I'm just gonna put it that way. I'm not quite sure if I want to put something else. You know, like uh, I've been putting a lot of these little flowers here. I mean, I feel like it's too much for this one. So I'm just gonna go with this, and I'm gonna put this one in in the back. You know, like so. So let's just see. Um. I feel like I need one of those. So I'm just gonna do the banner. Okay. And let's just see. I feel like that one will be nice. And this time I'm gonna be putting it like so. And maybe I'll do it this way. Yeah, like so it will be better. And so let's just, I'm just going to cut here a piece because I don't need all these. I'm going to be putting this one like so. Alrighty. And I'm going to be popping up this one. So let's just use the dimensionals. Alrighty, and it's pretty much the same layout that I did on my past video, but this time is the Christmas one. And again, this is the one that I got the inspiration from. Let's just do it this way. Yes. And the good thing is that I want the whole thing to be... Voila. Yeah, I feel like this one will be nice. And then I'm going to be putting this one here. And for this one, I'm thinking of using the glue dots. I usually just glue, I use the glue dots with the, um, 
with the ribbon. Oh, you know what? This doesn't want to go. Oh, here it is. I'm like, what in the world? You know what? This doesn't want to work that well. So, what would I use? I don't know exactly. Let me see. There we go. I think you just have to. Um, there we go. And we're going to put another one here. There we go. So let's just. You know what? I'm going to put it here. Or like so. Let's see. No, I really feel like it needs to be here. Ooh, ooh. Don't go, don't go. Alrighty. Yes. That way. There we go. Okay, so here it is. Um, I hope you like it. Um, and if you do, um, do subscribe to my video channel where I typically share videos about quick and easy cards. And let me just show you, you didn't see this one, but here's the other one that I made. Uh, previously for the birthday it looks gorgeous and so you can tell and again this one came from the catalog well the elements if you will um, and also I do have a Facebook uh, live video every Thursday on um, at 7 p.m. Central Time so if you want to join us do subscribe to my Facebook group because that's where it happens and um, and I also share uh, tutorials through my email for my email subscribers so I also have the, the information on my on my on the description of this video and as usual all the products that I use in this card will be um, will be um, on the description so if you want to recreate this card you you can do it easily so thank you so much and I hope to see you soon bye